recently drove a thousand miles across the UK shooting with Hasselblad's new CFV 100C camera. And nowadays as technology advances faster than ever and cameras become infinitely capable, it's not that often that I'm actually intrigued or excited by new tools. Yet every now and then a manufacturer comes out with a product that focuses equally on the experience as it does the spec sheet and the CFV 100C is a great example of that. So today I want to take you along on that journey and share my thoughts after using this camera system for the past couple of months. So if you're new to the channel, I shoot regularly with Fuji's GFX system. I also currently own an older Hasselblad CCD camera and worked with the X2D last year as well. So I'm no stranger to the digital medium format space, but the CFE 100C is definitely intriguing. It's a little bit unique. You know, digital backs have been around for a really long time, but what makes this different is that it comes with the 907X, which gives you this really compact standalone camera system, which you can use a number of different ways. There was a lot of hype when this was announced last month, but I think it's worth mentioning that Hasselblad's been making a 50 megapixel version of this since 2014. So this isn't something entirely new. What is exciting about this one though, is the fact that they've gone and added the backside illuminated 100 megapixel sensor from the X2D, as well as the phase autofocus. Also, full transparency, just want to say like with the X2D review, I did charge Hasselblad for this, so I am getting paid for it, but that's purely just what allows me to go and make this review. All the thoughts and opinions are still my own. So at its core, stripped down, this is it. It's basically a sensor with a processor, get a rear screen, some buttons, and it's all built into a body that's meant to resemble an old 500 series film bag. And I gotta say, Hasselblad's done a really good job with this. You know, when you pair it up with an older 500 series film camera, it has an almost seamless look to it. And then when using this with the 907X, it also gives you this very kind of retro look and feel. And as a result, it's a camera that makes you wanna go out and shoot. So I'm currently on a multi-day road trip across the UK right now, heading up the Welsh coast and then eventually over to the east coast of England. And this is a way to just like grab some old film cameras, get away for a few days and just have like a nice, loose, fun photography trip, uh, searching out like old petrol stations, classic cars and things like that. And I thought it could be cool to bring along the uh, Hasselblad CFV 100C to shoot alongside those cameras, just because obviously this has like a similar feel and look to it and operation. Three more days to go. Looking forward to getting to know this camera a little bit more. This is so cool here. Hold it out just a bit, out this way. Yeah, just like that, there we go. Yeah, okay. So compared to Hasselblad's X2D, the 907X and CFV 100C come in, I think around 600 pounds cheaper here in the UK. So there isn't a huge price difference. And obviously with the X2D, you are getting IBIS and you are getting an EVF, but what this camera offers uh, that's a little bit different is flexibility. So you basically get one camera system that you can use a number of different ways. So with the 907X and XCD lenses, or paired up with a 500 series film body, older V series lenses, or finally using this with a technical camera system. And for this video, we're gonna focus on the first two. It's a cool frame, honestly, it might be one of my favorites of the trip so far. I mean, judging by the back of the camera. So when you buy the CFE, you get the 907X, which is this small, thin front part here that you simply just clip on. 
and that all of a sudden gives you an XCD lens mount and a few control dials and buttons. And with this setup and an XCD lens mounted, you basically just have this really small compact setup. And when you flip out the screen at 90 degrees, it does give you some of that feel of using an older film camera with a waist level finder. And then there's also some accessories you can buy. There's a control grip, which I ended up using uh, quite a bit. Gives you a shutter release and a few dials and buttons. And there's also an optical viewfinder that you can buy. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on that. I would have loved to try that as well. Picking away some spots as I drive. This is an interesting one. So with the CFD so far, I'd say it's probably been like a 50-50 split in terms of the configurations that I've used. And originally I was most excited about pairing this up with the 500 series body, uh, but the 907X obviously gives you a lot more practicality. So it gives you your autofocus, it gives you metering, it gives you your ability to check uh, critical focus. For me, reaching for this is just about being able to work like a little bit faster, similar to with the X2D. And then if I wanted to, you know, focus more on the experience, I would go to a 500 series. I know some people are intrigued by the 907X or the side grip. It certainly is, you know, a small form factor and you can use this screen kind of like a waist level finder. And I did that a little bit and it was kind of fun to use, but I think uh, with the 907, I'd always be kidding it out for something a little bit more practical. I gotta say, I am definitely happy with that one. It's getting better by the second just with this mist coming in. When it comes to using this with an older 500 series camera, like I said, digital backs have been around for a really long time, but the simplicity and ease of use with this combo is really cool. So basically all you do is you just go ahead, clip it on like you would with the film back and that's it. All of a sudden you have this 100 megapixel digital back on your old Hasselblad camera. So like I said, pairing it up with the 500 series is what excited me the most when I first got my hands on this. At first, you know, I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to, but I think a lot of that came down to just like with any new camera, you know, taking some time to get familiar with it and get used to it. And over just even the past couple days, I've started to warm up to this quite a bit. Obviously this strips things right back, so you lose your ability to uh, meter. Also live view really isn't a thing anymore. You can keep the lens on bulb mode and just hold it open. I found it a little bit too finicky. And then also, you know, this is a six by six film camera and we're dealing with the cropped medium format sensor. So when you look through the waist level finder, it's quite a small area compared to what you've been used to. So it's not the exact same experience, but you know, that being said, it still is a lot of fun. And for me, again, it just comes back to this like multi-purpose angle with the CFV. I wouldn't want this to be like my only way to shoot with this uh, camera system or this back, whatever you want to call it. But the fact that you could use a 907 when you want a little bit more practicality and then you could throw it on a body like this if you wanted to go out and just shoot a little bit slower, that is a really appealing angle for me. When it comes to image quality, I kind of knew exactly what to expect just because this is the same sensor and processor from the X2D and as a result, the images are exactly the same. Obviously massive resolution from the 100 megapixel sensor, but like I said in my X2D review, I really enjoy Hasselblad's natural color solution. I found that regardless of like the lighting situation or the conditions, it always gives you like a really nice base, accurate with rich colors to start your edits from. And that's probably one of my favorite things about this system. When it comes to lenses for the 907X, I used one lens 
which is Hasselblad's new 38 mil F2.5. And this was actually the one that I used the most for that X2D review. Really nice, obviously pretty fast for a medium format lens, and also very compact and lightweight. So it pairs up really nice with the CFV. And optically, you know, as you'd expect, super sharp, really nice colors, overall a nice look from this. But I will point out, like I mentioned before, there is some vignetting that comes with this. So you've got to make sure that you run a lens profile in post, which cleans it up completely. But I'm assuming this has to do just with the design of this and how fast it is. When it comes to the older V-series lenses, I also just had one, this uh, Carl Zeiss Distagon CFI 50mm f4. And I was really curious how this was going to compare to the XCD lenses and if it could hold up to the 100 megapixel sensor. And I will say this was uh, noticeably softer, still completely usable, at least, you know, for my preferences, but especially getting out to like the edges and the corners of the frame, I did notice quite a bit of drop off in sharpness. So again, this is all just going to come down to personal preference and it could even come down to sample quality as well, considering we're dealing with older optics and also not really an ability to check critical focus. So if I were after like ultimate image quality, I'd reach for the XCD glass, but personally, I would still be comfortable using this older V-series glass as well. So overall, I did really enjoy my time with this camera and I love what Hasselblad's doing, just bringing like a unique system to the market that's obviously incredibly capable from a technical standpoint, but also focuses heavily on the user experience. You know, I think if you're looking at both of the Hasselblad 100 megapixel models and you need a camera simply as a tool to get your work done, then for me personally, the X2D would be my choice just with the EVF and the IBIS, which I did miss at times when working with the CFE. But I think if you're after something that leans a bit more towards the user experience with a slower pace of working, then I think this is a really intriguing option that brings with it some of what I love when I'm shooting with a film camera.